My name's Neil Balthaser and I'm your host at Ultra Mobility, the channel all about Class B camper vans. If you're interested in Class B camper vans or are looking to buy, this is the channel for you. If you haven't done so already, I ask you to please consider subscribing. It's super easy. Just click the subscribe button and it'll help me continue to make great videos. I get a lot of questions from viewers about what is a realistic price that they should expect to pay for a particular camper van. And today I'm going to show you some of the online resources that I use to educate myself about realistic pricing for camper vans when you go out there to look. Now one of the first places that I always go to even when I'm not looking for camper vans, but I'm just interested in seeing what is the current market value for a particular camper van. The website is called rvtrader.com. So I'll put it right up here. So rvtrader.com, when you go there, they list both new and used RVs from across North America. That's one of the great things about RV Trader. Now I've used RV Trader to both look at buying but also selling RVs and I can tell you it works really well for both. Now one of the first things that you'll see when you go there is they have every type of RV. We're specifically looking at Class B so you can just select Class Bs and then under makes you can see all the different manufacturers for Class B camper vans and once you select your make then you can see under model you can either type in as as you begin typing in it'll it'll fill out the rest of it for you so you can put in the exact model number and then you just hit find and what that will do is that will look all across north america mainly in the united states and it'll bring up both used camper vans of that make and model and also from dealers newer camper vans as well that are available to you and as you look through the list, you can get a pretty good idea of at least what the dealer's asking price is for those camper vans. You can also get a good idea of what a used price might be for a camper van. So you can compare those two and determine which one might be the better route for you. In addition, you can use the location filter. You can put your zip code in and use that filter to narrow down only the dealers that are within a certain mile radius from wherever you're at. So sometimes you may find that a better deal might be out of state and if you're willing to drive out of state you can maybe get a steeper discount. But maybe you don't want to drive out of state and so this will at least inform you of what you can expect to pay in your local area. So the prices that you're going to see on RVTrader.com are going to be, at least for new models being sold from dealers, it's going to be the dealer's asking price. Now, a lot of times you'll see the MSRP listed, and I just gloss over those. I'm, I'm not interested in that. I'm looking at the ones where the dealers have actually marked them down. That's what I'm looking at. So I'm trying to gain a consensus and an understanding of, in general, how much discount am I looking at even before I start negotiating with the dealer? Have they come down 10, 15, even 20 percent off the MSRP? That's what I'm looking at. And that becomes my baseline now for what I'm probably going to offer when I go into a dealer. Now, to further refine my understanding of what kind of discount I should get. There are a couple other resources you should look at. The first one is go to Facebook and most of these RV manufacturers and models generally have Facebook groups. So what you want to try to find is you want to try to find the Facebook group for the specific model that you're looking at. So as an example, let's look at the Heimer Active. There's a Facebook group called Heimer Active Owners and Wannabes, and it's a closed group, so you'll need to apply to it. Generally speaking, you should get approved uh, if you're actually looking to buy an RV, they'll let you into the group. Now, once you're in the group, you can search for, I search for the, the term discount. So if you search for the term discount, it'll bring up any discussions that are happening 
inside of that Facebook group around what people are paying or have paid for their active. So you can see here, some people are talking about uh, a good starting place is around 105,000 Canadian. Uh, then some other people are saying 105,000, maybe 100,000. Another person says mine was 96,000, but it was because it was a little beat up at a, at a show. So you're getting kind of an idea here uh, around what people are paying. So for, for what we're seeing, at least on the, on the Heimer Active, I'd say around 100,000, between 90,000 and 100,000. That, that's what you would expect. So now you've got a good idea, at least from this Facebook group, of what different people are paying for their actives. You can also post a question in the group, and a lot of times the members will be very happy to tell you where they bought it, uh, how was the dealer experience in buying it, and what type of discount that they got. Another resource that can be helpful is, are some of the forums. So for instance, I'm a member of this forum called Class B Forums. And again, it's very easy to join. This is a general forum for all types of Class B camper vans and makes. It, generally, it doesn't have as much activity as the specific Facebook groups for a particular model, but it's still a good resource. So once you join and get in, you can see here there's a search and you do the same type of thing. You just type in your search term of discount or discount active and it'll bring up all the postings where people have talked about what type of discount that they've received when they purchase. Now, because this is a forum, a lot of times the threads go back a number of years. So you want to make sure that you're looking at more recent threads and not necessarily something for two or three years ago. But you will occasionally find people telling you recently what they paid for their particular make and model. And again, once you're a member, you can certainly post a question. And I found that the me uh, members are very active and are very helpful in telling you uh, and answering your question about how much they actually paid. So Class B Forums is one. Then the specific chassis manufacturers also have forum websites as well. So another one I belong to because I own a Mercedes Sprinter is the Sprinter Forum, and I'll put that link up there. And just like Class B forums, uh, you can go in, you can search for discount for your particular make and model, or you can post a question. Now keep in mind that the Sprinter Forum is specifically for sprinters and manufacturers that build on the Sprinter chassis. So you wouldn't necessarily go to Sprinter Forum and ask a question about a ProMaster because they'll direct you to the equivalent ProMaster chassis, which there is as well for the ProMaster. So you can find that uh, on your favorite search engine as well. So these are some of the resources that I use. Another one is rvforum.net. They're a more general forum, not just about Class B, not about a, a chassis manufacturer, but they're large enough that if you go inside there, you'll see that they have Class A, Class B, Class C subgroups. And within those subgroups, you can ask your question about a particular make and a particular model. And again, I found that the forum members are very helpful and very willing to help you out and, and answer your questions. Another nice thing about these Facebook groups and these forums like Class B forums are you can really find out a lot about the particular make and model that you're interested in from current owners. There's all types of discussions that are going on inside of these forums about uh, what people love about their camper van and maybe what problems that they've encountered, how has their experience been with warranty repairs, all types of great discussions. And you will learn so much just by reading some of those forum discussions and asking questions in those forums before you actually go by. It, it's a fabulous and tremendous resource. So I highly encourage you to go to the sites that I've mentioned here, go to the forums, go to the Facebook groups and join them. It's free uh, and you'll learn a tremendous amount. So those are my resources, those are my suggestions to you. This is one of the areas that's really critically important that you gain a mastery of when you're actually ready to go out and purchase your, your camper van. 
it's really important that you know what you're willing to pay, what's a good value, uh, and what you're going to walk away from when you go into the dealer. So these resources will help you gain that confidence and that knowledge so that when you are ready to go in and start negotiating, you're going in fully armed with knowledge and knowing that uh, what you should be paying and you're not going to be paying more than you should be. I'll be doing a separate video that will talk more about once you're ready to go into the dealer, what you should expect and how I've negotiated my deals with RV dealerships. So look for that video coming up. But this was important to do this video first so that when I do that video, I can reference back to this one. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love if you became a subscriber. It helps me continue to make great videos. Leave a comment in the comment section below and I try to answer each and every one of them. We'll see you again next time on Ultra Mobility, your channel for Class B camper vans. Take care. Bye-bye.